what's up guys mark from wild ring souls back at you with another video uh today a, a little um update on what was going on um last night uh of course i went to a gig um i saw fate gear for the first time live and if you're not familiar with uh fate gear they're a metal band from japan all female um great musicians and um yeah, it was awesome to see them live, for uh, performing live. Um, it was amazing. Um, went there by my own, there was not a lot of people going with me, but I met some people uh, at the gig. So, um, people I didn't know, and, uh, but were awesome people. So, thank you all for um having me giving me a great time uh, first of all i want to thank max um who is actually a viewer of my channel so thank you very much dude uh, it was really nice talking to you um had a great time um love your knowledge uh your experiences uh which all of all the things you told me uh you're a great company thank you for the beers and of course um uh, yeah I gave him some beers back, of course, as well. Um, yeah, really nice, dude. Thank you very much, Max. Um, also talked to Stefan, which is a Dutch dude uh, on the way back home uh, in the train a long time. So we talked about an hour or so. Uh, really nice dude as well. He's from Leeuwarden, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, didn't know him at all, but uh, yeah, really nice fella. Um, and I talked to another dude at the entrance where I was talking to Max as well. Uh, he was sitting next to us. Um, I think he was Dutch, if not mistaken, but he was also a big fan of all Japanese music. And um, yeah, didn't know him at all, but he was a nice fella as well. Um, I hope you enjoy your autographs as well. Um, so you uh, had. Uh, your poster sign as well just like I have um, so it's awesome um, great experience I really like the ven venue uh, Fluor in Amersfoort um, never was have been there before but I uh, really liked it um, nice sound as well um, not, not too loud not too soft just good enough uh, for the ears let's put it that way and um, yeah, all the people in in uh, Fluor seems to be really nice people, so I really enjoyed that. Um, nice um, audience. There was a lot of people coming. It was not sold out, I think, um, but, but it was there were a lot of people there. Uh, good, so it, that's good for this band. Um, yeah, we just need to promote smaller bands to come out here more. Um, that's why I also bought the VIP tickets, uh, the meet and greet thing. Um, well, yeah, just to support the band, just you know, to see them back more often, and um, let's always try to give them something back. So also bought some merch from them, and um, yeah, yeah, they give us a fantastic uh, performance. So we have to support them in a in a way, and. Um, the meet and greet thing is just giving something extra back. Of course, you pay something extra for your ticket. I think it was 15 bucks, 15 euros more than the regular ticket. And of course, the, the thing you, they sell on the merch. Um, the meet and greet was really fine, it did, uh, really awesome. Um, I was uh, 45 minutes in advance of the gig. And um, so you get in earlier, um, you got a free uh, coin for your. Uh, first drink um, the coin was especially meant for the, for the cup that was came in um, so if you change the coin and you get a cup and you can some pay something to drink for otherwise you have to buy that extra probably um, so that's where it was the coin for um, but it's a kind of change system you know the cup more coin and then you got the cup you also be all the time bringing back and let it fill um anyways um I mean grid was really cool um seeing them in f in front of you um talking to them um uh, seems really really nice girls really uh honest 
uh, generous and uh, also really um, yeah how do I say it friendly uh, let's put it that way uh, polite especially polite um, and some of the girls really seems to be a really fun person to hang out <laughs> with as well uh, Kurisaki the key pro player uh, really amazed me that day uh, she's really fun person um, Nana seems to be very nice as a singer um, but all the girls are uh, really nice and friendly so uh, yeah anyways um, fantastic to meet them in person so I bought a CD, a t-shirt, a poster and I got a, a free uh, poster for the, from the event and I had that let that signed so um, yeah fantastic um, I will show the merch in, in, after the, the, the video later in the videos put it that way um, so yeah really fun um, and of course then you could take uh, let take a picture uh, with you and the band um, so that's really fantastic this on the stage and someone took the picture for you um, from someone a girl from flew or I think really nice girl as well um, yeah so um, yeah, it was a fantastic experience and then of course uh, the ambience everything was really really nice I really enjoyed it um, so and then the gig started of course um, and all the people came in around between 8 and 9 and the gig started at 9 um, there's a regular door, regular tickets the door opened for eight, on 8 o'clock and the VIP was around uh, 7.15 so um, 45 minutes meet and greet and there were yeah, a bunch of people I think 20, 30 or something like that that had that VIP ticket and the rest came in later um, so a really nice time um, so the kick uh, started fantastic a nice intro and then of course starting off with unbreakable wings um, straight to the point fast heavy um, music uh, coming to the front and it feels the band seems really 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 energetic energetic um, fantastic fantastic I really enjoyed it nice growling going on um, nice clean vocals um, everything was just really really great um, yeah I really really enjoyed it um, they also played Adventures of the East uh, I was really surprised they played Lose My Voice it's also one of my favorites um, you like the raw fast dark riffing in the track it's really really one of the faster tracks fastest tracks they have and I was really surprised there were some blast beats as well so um, it's really really well played um, the drum work in that one is, was fantastic Yuna um, who was replacing Haruka um, who couldn't come on the tour so Yuna stepped in there and she did a phenomenal job um, very well played uh, fantastic um, now Yuna is also active in other bands and projects and uh, she's a really good drummer um, so she did fantastic by placing her Haruka there um, then they played Draw Their Dagger um, the Sky Pir Pirates they also played also one of my favorites is a more mid um track with a really nice keyboard line I filmed a bit from that song I will put the clip somewhere in the video um, it was not the b best video I shot ever but I thought yeah, I would share that as well it's only the actually really video I filmed um, most of the time <laughs> I'm just joining the gig there so um, sorry about that if you were expecting a lot of live videos I didn't actually the video, I took some pictures of course that, uh, that the, uh, that's something I did as well but uh, I was enjoying the gig so much I f didn't feel the need to film all the time uh, I'm not even the person to film whole gigs I never do that actually so yeah most of the time there are snippets or a song or whatever um, so um, 
just filmed a snippet of uh, the Sky Pirates, but it's a fantastic track. Um, Suicidal Heart, also fantastic to hear live. I really love that song. And also Live in Blood. Um, oh, awesome track. Really love that. I uh, love that. Fa and then they follow up with Mega Bullets. Ah, that combination there it was uh, really, really great. Um, um yeah there were it was a, a lot of great energy the girls were really active on the stage um a lot of funny moments as well so yeah awesome uh be invincible uh romancer and they closed off with scars in my life another fantastic track um and of course the crowd wrote more wanted more and um yeah they got more um so they came back with another song called Headless Goddess. Um, fantastic, fantastic. So, um, yeah, awesome. Um, great, great um, performance. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the crowd enjoyed themselves. It was even a mosh pit. Um, which also the girls noticed. They also really kept them smiling and going crazy um they even mentioned ah oh, what's a moth pit and they really loved it um so yeah um really really great stuff i really enjoyed the performances great guitar great drum work love the bass work um really active uh nana's vocals were great i really enjoyed uh Fusaki's backing vocals they were they were awesome they kind of sound muddy in places during but it was the only thing in um, the, uh, the sound of the venue that I thought, well, but it was a lot of time, it sounded really good. And um, yeah, she's a really rough growl, <laughs> I have to say. Um, so um, yeah, really, really well done. I love the keyboard playing, great solos, and I love the way <laughs> she turned the keyboard. Normally, you know, you have a keyboard that plays like this, but she turned the keyboard like this to play this. So it's really funny to see. And she was really active behind her keyboard as well, jumping up and down, dancing and doing clappings and even at a point fall down just and then stood up straight away to play. She was smiling all the time. Uh, she had a really good time, looks like it. Um, so um, yeah, it was a really, really fun gig. Um, love to see, see him again uh, someday. Hopefully next tour they come, will come back to the Netherlands. I could have go to the Sittard gig today, but I thought, well, um, it's a bit far drive for me. So um, I thought, yeah, you know, it, I, uh, there will be a next time. if. If the people come back like this and give them all the support, they will come back. Um, there was one person actually tried to complain a bit about there were not enough CDs for sale, etc. Um, well, from what I understand, they had CDs, but the uh, Frankfurt gig and the Rotterdam gig, etc., sold stuff so fast. There was not much CDs left when uh, also when. We came in this venue um, because I would love to buy more stuff from these girls, but I have to go online for this, I think. I only bought one CD and there were only choice of out of two CDs and this was the one I wanted the most from the two. Um, I didn't don't know what the other one was. It was dearly on the cover. Uh, can someone tell me what the other CD was? Um, because I was intrigued, but... Um, I didn't recognize that cover, so I don't didn't know really what it was. Was it a soundtrack or a compilation, whatever it was? It w didn't seem like a regular CD, uh, CD uh, from the girls themselves. So, or was it a special packaging or something? I don't know actually. Um, so hopefully someone can tell me here. Uh, but uh, they had enough shirts, uh, posters, uh, buttons. Um, a ma a magnet, um, but, but they did have more, yeah, stuff like that actually. Um, shirts also went fast. I saw the I saw the stack getting slimmer and slimmer. So 
hopefully they get more merch in for the rest of the tour um, they have some more gigs in Germany I think one in London um, so yeah there is more gigs coming in this tour so um, anyways I um, really enjoyed my time in that gig I really loved it um, yeah we really really uh, they are I can tell you guys they are live even better than on the CD and in the video clips um, full sound a um, lot of energy and really really um, friendly and polite and uh, still giving you all the music you want and um, just constantly smiling and stuff like that you know um, going crazy as well um, really really fun band to see live and um, yeah hopefully you guys do that someday and give them all the support because the bands like this we need more in Europe um, definitely um, and hopefully this opens more again to other bands as well um, so if you come back girls take it along another Japanese band with you then we can also no more Japanese bands that would be awesome um, this is only one uh, solo gig let's put it that way it's one band um, so they played an hour I think and with the encore maybe an hour and ten minutes or something like that so it's not was a really long long performance but um, what you got is um, an amazing 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 gig um, awesome stuff so that were kind of my experiences here um, so then over to the merch I the first thing you got was this poster that was right at the door and you could take it to um, the merch and where the girls were and um, of course I had to let it sign so here are all um, the signatures uh, sadly this is a poster where um, uh, Yuna is not on. Um, here is uh, Haruka. Um, but um, yeah, it's um, it's not. It's, it, it, I love to, love to see her live play with them as well. But Yuna is a really great place, uh, and she just put on the, <laughs> the thing of Haruka. So uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, so. Uh, Awesome stuff here. Um, and just an easy poster. I also bought an, the, a poster from the band themselves. I had to support them, so I bought a big one. A really big, 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 big poster here. This which is from the latest single, and of course it had also all, all the tour dates on here. So that's awesome. I bought the CD. Uh, I bought uh, Scars in My Life uh, EP here. Um, probably with Robbie Obi. And um, it has five tracks. Did I say that right? Yeah, five tracks. In this one. Here is the CD. This was released in 2021, I think. So here is CD. And the back and then of course the booklet here which contains lyrics from all the songs and then you know, in the back with credits lyrics and of course the front cover so that's how the CD looks um, I have spun it already once and I really enjoyed it so um, yeah, that will definitely do more times and, um, and I always put my CDs in some of these bags to keep them in good condition. Uh, the mean is, of, of course, the DG packs and the CDs with uh, OBs. Um, regular jewel cases will be fine, but this is. I don't want to destroy the OBs and thing, things like that and DG packs, so um, I do it like this and I close it like that. And um, they will keep in good, in good condition. So, um, anyways. Uh, Glad to have that one. And of course, I bought a t shirt 
and it's a t-shirt from the latest one release it looks really cool awesome design um, they are also available on the web store I think and also in, in a red t-shirt variant I think so if you want to have that t-shirt go online and uh, buy them from the girls I think Mina does the merch store herself so um, you get it directly from the band so um, that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video um, let me know what your thoughts are when did you went to one of the other gigs or the same gig let me know your experiences and um, that would be fucking awesome so I leave um, a video in the, somewhere in this video and um, maybe I throw in some pictures as well somewhere so if you see them passing by then you know what it is um, I want to thank you all for watching guys I really appreciate it um, I hope to see you guys back soon if you like what you saw don't forget to subscribe it will help the channel out and the more people watch the better it is for bands like Fade Gear um, I just want to support all these fantastic bands not known here and um, videos like this always will help so Cheers for watching and um, see you guys next video. Cheers.